Tonight, you guys are going to learn about perfect squares and perfect cubes, and we're going to start with perfect squares. So, a perfect square is a whole number whose square root is a whole number. Or we can say a perfect square is a whole number that comes from the square of a whole number. So, those are the two definitions of a perfect square. So, some facts about the perfect squares a perfect square is a number that can form a square. It also represents the area of a square, and it's also a rational number, because whole numbers are rational numbers. So some examples of perfect squares. 4, because the square root of 4 is 2. 9, because the square root of 9 is 3. 16, because the square root of 16 is 4. 25, because the square root of 25 is 5. 36, because the square root of 36 is equal to 6. So some non-examples, well the 2 is not a perfect square because the square root of 2 is not a whole number and 1.25 is not a perfect square because the square root of 1.25 is not a whole number. Now we're going to look at perfect cubes. So the definition of a perfect cube is a whole number whose cube root is a whole number or a whole number that comes from the cube of another whole number. So some facts about perfect cubes. A perfect cube is a number that can form a cube. A perfect cube also represents the volume of a cube. And a perfect cube is a rational number because a perfect cube is a whole number and a whole number is a rational number. Some examples of perfect cubes. 8 because the cube root of 8 is 2. 27 because the cube root of 27 is 3. 64 because the square root of 64 is 4, and 125 because the square root cube root of 125 is 5. And some non-examples of perfect square of uh, perfect cubes: 9 because the cube root of 9 is not a whole number, 16 because the cube root of 16 is not a whole number, and 0 0.08 because the cube root of 0 0.08 is not a whole number. And that is all for tonight.